it's kind of hard to be submissive when you don't trust um, the direction that who you choose to be with is going. So, yeah, that's just my little telltale on reggae music. Let's get back to the feel good and let's start cooking, baby. Welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome but first hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit that bell notification button so that way you can get notifications on whenever I post a new video all right so I'm here to show you guys like the photo shoot process uh, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram or not if you don't go ahead and follow me at Najee if you are um, if you look at my aesthetic on my Instagram it's really simple like I just really basically just take my own photos on my iPhone and I just edit it using iPhone apps and stuff like that and I really this year really want to boost my aesthetic on my Instagram like really on all of my social media platforms by taking more professional photos with a real photographer you know not just like myself misses do it all um, I think that this is like the perfect opportunity for me to like um, try something new you know I've always been oh, taking photos I'm a little nervous taking photos with a photographer because I'm just like uh, I'm not a model I'm like I just take my own photos you know I have know my own ankles like I'm about to give this photographer like so much trouble and they don't even know what's coming <laughs> they don't even know what's coming but yeah I need like a full body picture a full body mirror so I can see like what I look like I'm just hoping that this photographer is like really patient with me because I'm about to be a hot ass on this camera. But yeah, um, I just wanted to take you guys along my journey of like kind of like my first photo shoot. So I'm like really excited. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> I want to do a leather jacket and some leather pants. So we're about to change out of our sweatsuit. Nala compares in that bathroom. She's getting so big. I'm about to show you guys her. She's getting so big. Look at Nala compare. They hold her, everyone. She's so black, you can't even see her. They high. My baby getting so big. I love her so much. I love you so much, my little bear. I've never been like a dog kisser. Like, I thought that was so gross. But it's so gross until you literally get your own dog. Like, it's literally so gross until you get your own dog. Then it's like the most loving thing in the world. <laughs> Okay, so first look is the leather jacket and the leather pants. I love how the booties just look so good. And we're just gonna keep like the bra on. I wish it was tighter so it can make my boots look like more. But it's cool. This is cute. I like this. No. It's a vibe and whatnot. Okay, so I didn't record a lot from the shoot because I got lazy. Okay, um, <laughs> I got lazy. Like, it was hard for me to multitask. It was hard for me to, like, um, really honestly, like, 
get in the mode of like posing and like knowing my angles and stuff like that and vlog at the same time. It was just like very frustrating. So I didn't vlog the entire time, but I will insert pictures. <laughs> Some of the pictures that came out really really great he's a really good photographer his thing is um he's really big on shapes and angles and things like that and he's really good at giving direction so kudos to him i'll leave his information down in the description box if you are in the new york new jersey area hit him up because he's a great photographer um but yeah i had a lot of fun though that was fun we started shooting at like around like 9 30 10 o'clock and we didn't end up finishing until like one o'clock in the morning so we were shooting for like four hours four hours baby and then you know of course new jersey <laughs> ridgewood uh, bushwick <gasps> that's like an hour drive so your girl was tired i was very tired but it was cool it was a cool you know situation um i am hoping to use him again hopefully um because I want to do a wig shoot. I did a wig shoot about a month and a half ago, or back in December, and I did not, like I was not here for the photographer. Like she did not deliver what I was thinking that she would deliver. But baby, he did. So like I said, kudos to him, and um, I'm excited to work with him again. Now, today's a new day. Today is a new day and I had a lot of soul searching to do. You know, I'm still in my soul searching journey. I had a lot of soul searching to do. Um, and I, you know, I was dripping around in the streets a little bit today. I went and got my brows done. Brows looking really good. When I got my lashes done, I've never had extensions before. I always do strips. So this is my first time doing extensions. Um, and I'm really pleased with it. It looks very natural. Um, I was doing hair and one of my friends, you know, she had her lashes done. I was like, baby, your, your lashes look good. They look real natural. Like, they look like it's coming out of the skin. And she told me where she got her lashes done. She sent me, like, the Groupon. She was like, oh, they're on Groupon. And so I purchased the, I think, 100 pieces glam um, for, like, $65. So... I was like, let me go today. I went today and got my lashes done. Um, the aesthetic in that place was absolutely beautiful. I was like, oh, this is so cute. I love, 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 love. I love this. I love how you have to do the keypad um, to get into the building. I feel like secure. Groupon, okay, Groupon, okay, Groupon. <laughs> So, um, she opened up her studio um, in January, so since New Year, so she's only been open for a little over a month. Um, so I was like, oh, congratulations, you know, I wish you all the best. But, you know, she did really, 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 really good. Um, my lashes look really natural. Um, next time I'm going to go for more of like a full dramatic look, like a, a more formal dramatic look. But this is really pretty. I like that I can just wake up in the morning, have some natural, fluffy, cute little lashes. Um, and then if like I want to go out, have like a girls night or something, I can just throw on some strips and just, just be careful on, on how I'm like taking them off. They're really pretty. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> You are so funny. <laughs> so funny. I love. But these lashes look real good. I'm really happy about that. I'll also leave their information down in the description box. Um, but yeah, um, after that, I came home and I was like, you know what? Tomorrow is going to be the start of a new journey for me. And I had a, a friend that I recently met that just really encouraged me to implement a routine into my life because all successful people um, have a routine and I would say that out of the few things that I feel like I lack having a routine is something that I definitely do not have and I definitely want to implement that into my lifestyle so tomorrow is going to be the start of a new routine because you know lacking motivation and lacking self-discipline you know with those two, you're not gonna get anywhere in life. And, or you're not gonna get as far as you are wishing and hoping and dreaming um, to get without having those two. And that's something that I had to like look within myself and realize within myself. So definitely gonna have me a nice little routine. And I'm so excited to take you along the journey of me getting accustomed and to my new <laughs> routine or whatnot. You know, I have always been talking about like 
how you know I don't feel the most confident with my body you know in my last vlog I was feeling like really bloated you know I'm always tired and stuff but I'm really excited because my teamy blends came in today um, teamy reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try some of their products so no this isn't sponsored but they did ask me if I wanted to try one of their products and I decided to go with the 30 day detox so not only did they send their 30 day detox they also sent a cute um tumbler for me to drink my tea with so i'm gonna go into the details of that in a little bit and in the morning <laughs> we're gonna start our 30 day detox i'm like really excited um, to check this out and see what's up in here cool 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 we even came with a calendar. You know, this will definitely help me with um, um, discipline. This will definitely help me with discipline. So, there's two things in here. There is the skinny tea and there is the colon tea. Um, there's 15 tea bags of colon here because you're supposed to take one of these every other night. Every other night you're supposed to drink um, the colon tea, the colon cleanser tea, every other night. And it's supposed to help bless you out you know cleanse you you know I heard some really good things about it so I'm a little nervous but I'm excited because I do need me a nice little cleansing and then the skinny tea um, it's supposed to help with like bloating giving you energy throughout the day um, you know um, giving you some nutrients and stuff like that so are you supposed to take this every morning um, I think you're supposed to drink this every morning before breakfast so what I'm going to do is get up in the morning, um, do my daily hygiene, um, make my skinny tea, drink that in the morning um, before I go to the gym. Um, go to the gym, come home, um, shower, make breakfast, eat, eat, eat like a, a light breakfast, and start with my day of um, content, school, and things of that nature. So every night I'm going to plan um, in details what my days are going to be for the next day. I'm just really excited to start this new journey of like creating a schedule for myself. And like I said, they have like a detox calendar, which is help me stay focused on um, getting through this 30, 30 day challenge. And once the 30 day challenge is over, <laughs> I'm going to give you guys all the sick. Well, I'm going to take you guys through um, the journey as I vlog as well, but I'm also at the end of the 30 day challenge. I am going to give you guys all the tea. But if you want to join this 30 day challenge with me, um, you can use my discount code. They gave me a discount code, um, and I'll link that down below in the description box as well. You don't have to use it if you don't want to, but it's there if you want to use it. Uh, but yeah, they sent me a cute little lavender um, tea tumbler, which is so cute. I'm so excited. Ah. Super excited, Mama! I'm super excited. So that's what we have to look forward to in the morning. I feel like my mouth dry. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't know if you guys have seen this before, but if you follow Aaliyah's face, Aaliyah's face always. Um, she got this off of Amazon and she posts it like on her Instagram and she talks about it in um, some of her videos and stuff like that. So I thought that this was really cute. It has the timestamps on when you should be um, finished drinking. Um, so it has like from 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and then you're supposed to refill it. This is my first time using it today. Um, obviously it is past um, 6 o'clock. It is like currently 8 o'clock. So I'm at the six o'clock mark, so I need to catch up on um, me um, drinking my water, my agua. Mm -hmm. Ooh. So yeah, I'm excited. We got a long day ahead of us tomorrow. We're gonna have a long day ahead of us every day. <laughs> From here on out, I just gotta stay motivated and stay dedicated, y'all. Ooh, I didn't even tell you guys about my new watch. So. I got this new watch look <laughs> this is fire um no this is not sponsored but mbmt did reach out to me and ask me um if i could do like a review for um one of their watches and i don't even know if they know but i already was hip to mbmt and my watch 
MBMC. Y'all saying come through is a come through. The girl is fire out here. And I like to say world bro for a reason, honey. About like four or five years ago, I bought my first watch from MBMT, um, a gold watch. Super nice. Absolutely love it. I'm gonna insert a clip of like what my gold watch um, look like. Absolutely love that watch. I used to wear that watch every day. I still wear that watch. I mean, I don't obviously wear it every day, but gold was my thing. So I used to wear that watch every day. Love that watch to this day. Um, so when they reached out to me, I was really excited. I was like, oh my gosh, I've been like a super fan of MVMT. I always talked about MVMT in my videos and stuff like that. And they reached out to me and asked me if I could send me a watch. I was like, oh, yes. So I have this um, cute black watch. I um, asked for this cute black watch because I wanted something that I could wear like on an everyday basis when I'm like running errands, working out, things like that. Um, I had an Apple watch, but I sold it because I never wore it. And then I also had a, um, a Fitbit, what's it called? A Fitbit watch or something like that. Never wore it, so I sold it. And um, so I was like, obviously I'm not into those like electronic like touchscreen watches or whatnot because I never wore that stuff but I do love me a good old classic watch so I got me a good old classic watch from MDMT I'll also have um, their information linked down below in the description box <laughs> I know y'all probably like how many links is she gonna give us today um actually I think that's it that's all the links that I got for y'all today um um, and I will also too link this down below in the description box. I got this in two colors I got it in the clear and I also got it in the black. I was thinking to give the black to someone else um, But and keep the clear for myself So yeah, as of right now, I'm about to um, get up and make me some dinner My Nala Pooh Bear is in the bed knocked out. She is like tired um while I was out running errands, I dropped her off at her uncle's house and she was like, I guess, running around, playing with his dog and she's probably just worn out. So now she's in the bed, knocked out, looking so cute. I love my baby so much. But I'm about to make me some dinner because I'm hungry and I didn't eat all day. Don't judge me. I did not eat all day. That's another thing why I need a routine because I will go a whole entire day without eating. It's currently almost 9 o'clock and I did not eat today at all. Unacceptable. And... I also be staying up late like sometimes like even last night well last night I did good last night I went to bed around 12 something the night before that though I went to bed super late at like 4 o'clock in the morning and then the night before that I didn't go to bed until 6 o'clock so that's why I be so tired and drained and then on top of not eating and not also drinking enough water it's just unacceptable so I really just need to do a revamp of my life <laughs> Here we go. I'm about to cook dinner and I think we're gonna have some salmon, shrimp, cauliflower rice. And I don't know what green, whatever green is in there, probably like broccoli or asparagus or something. Hey Google, play Barris Hammond. Check out this Barris Hammond station on YouTube Music. <laughs> hey Google, pause. I had to pause Hey Google because I just wanted to say I feel like every body but specifically every man and specifically even more specifically every black man should listen to reggae music i feel like that type of music nine times out of ten always sends a positive message and a how-to on how to be gentle how to um love and, and treat a woman um and it shows that it's like proof that masculinity just isn't measured off of how hard you can beat your chest but but is measured through you know um, you being kind and gentle and being a true leader a lot of men want to lead but don't know how to lead and you, like he just said I want to be your sole provider a lot of young men don't think like that like, I don't know I just feel like <laughs> 
I just feel like reggae music always just puts me in a good spirit and it gives me faith. Like, reggae music gives me faith. Um, when I listen to reggae music, I be like, there is like true love out there. There's a black man who is going to love and adore me, um, who is going to um, be patient with me, who's going to be kind to me, who's going to be gentle with me, uh, who is also going to be stern with me, who is also going to have the ability to actually lead and guide me. Um, someone that I can truly trust and be submissive to. Um, that's what reggae music gives me. It gives me hope. It's kind of hard to be submissive when you don't trust um, the direction that who you choose to be with is going. So, yeah, that's just my little telltale on reggae music. Let's get back to the feel good and let's start cooking, baby. <laughs> Check it out, baby. Go time, dude. 